Okay, hi my people. How are you? Hope you are doing good. Okay, today I'm not so fine. I'm not sick, but something has been troubling me for the last four days since this Jeff Mwadi issues and DJ Fatos issue started. As a parent to a girl, as a sister to brothers, as a niece to uncles, as a cousin to my male cousins, my heart is bleeding when I see that in Kenya, social media has to make noise. Kenyans have to make noise for justice to prevail. From the evidence that has been provided by someone Modiora from Facebook, we can see that <laughs> there is so much evidence concerning the death of Mwadi as it was placed like suicide. The picture he posted today shows that Mwadi was killed in the house and his body was released through the window so that it can look like a suicide. As I can see that this mother is not mothering up because I don't understand why and how someone can just kill someone like a goat. You even sympathize with the goat itself. Bearing in mind you'd eat that meat. Then you walk Scott Friday. Go ahead and post in your Facebook that today I have to remind you the wages of sin is death. You are trying to take a point home that Jeff was in me maybe did some mistake. I don't think I'm sad, I'm sad, I'm sad, I'm not happy. But from the look of things, Jeff was a happy young man at 23 years. He had a close relationship with the mother because from the audios that I've listened, Jeff was informing the mother or on her or his moves. I thank God because Jeff would use a voice not sending any information to the mom. And on that fateful day, Jeff decided to ask for 200 shillings so that he can go and meet the so-called good, good DJ in court. This is sad, really sad, and it is breaking my heart. Why would someone kill someone? For things you don't understand, why kill? The pictures are so traumatizing, really, really traumatizing. I feel sad for Jeff. I don't know him, but I knew him through social media platforms. But my heart is breathing as a mother and as a prospect mother to boys. Oh my God, this is really sad. The so-called DJ, I know one day, justice will prevail. Justice for Jeff is all that as Kenyans we need because this is really sad. It's giving me more panic because as per now, I have to keep on checking on my friends, on my male friends. Because I believe boy child is not safe. Boy child is no longer safe. We have we focused so much on girl child, but you can see that these girl childs are the ones who are being involved in eliminating boy children, which is so sad. So before anything, let's keep on making noise in social media until justice for Jeff is found. My heart is not at peace knowing someone's son is lying six feet under and someone is walking Scott Frill in the house.
in our streets we don't know about the safety of our boys because it seems that boys are at the siege. We don't want to lose our brothers. We don't want to lose our sisters. We don't want to lose anyone. Better to have a natural death. Better someone sleep and never to wake up instead of hearing that someone was slaughtered like an animal by someone who thinks that he has money. May Jeff's so rest in peace. May their parents find peace. My condolences to the family. And please, our government, work on this. We need justice for Jeff. We are not even requesting, we are demanding. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. I'm in too much pain. I'm in too much pain. Oh God, this is really sad really sad so guys thank you for watching this short video keep subscribing liking and commenting